Hi there, I'm here today with a little video on sorting through the labs we offer for mold and gut health and more and helping you kind of understand your options and help you decide where uh, you may need testing at this point. So first I'm gonna show you um, just sort of how to navigate all this. Let's see. So this is what our lab shop looks like. It's in partnership with Rupa Health. So you'll see a little bit of information about us and then different categories of testing. So first category is mold and other toxins. This first test is by Mosaic Diagnostics. They used to be called the Great Plains Laboratory. So this is the one we've carried for a while. Uh, it's, it's exclusively a mycotoxin test. Um, and then if you want to add to it an organic acids test, it's the same urine sample you send from home and the organic acids will give you a little more sense of how you're detoxifying, some things about yeast, mitochondrial function, things like that. And then if you want to add the third level of this test, they call that the Enviro Envirotox bundle. It tests for chemicals in the environment like pesticides, glyphosate. Um, gasoline additives. So it's not a heavy metal test. It's a chemical, like a man-made chemical test along with the other two tests. The newer test we've added is this mycotoxin test by Vibrant Wellness. It is again, exclusively mycotoxins, but a wider variety of mycotoxins. And if you click on details, you can see what is measured. And you can also look at a sample report of any tests you like. So you can just kind of get a feel of, you know, what you'd like to see and what you'd like to run or say you've run a lab already with another practitioner and now you want to see where you're at. It's best to usually match the same lab you ran before. And then the last test we have in this section is called total tox burden and PFAS chemicals. So I actually, I'm really excited about this test. It includes mycotoxins, some heavy metals, um, and then chemicals, the, the PFAs are the forever chemicals that you may have been hearing about, um, but other chemicals are tested in this as well. So they call it total tox burden, and it, it kind of is just that, getting a sense of what all your body is dealing with uh, at a pretty reasonable price. So you may want to check out that, that one. Next section is on gut health. Of this GI map plus zonulin is a test we've been running for um, a long time. It's um, really popular to get a sense of um, your friendly and unfriendly bacteria, different pathogens, different markers of gut health. Uh, I added to this collection the GI Effects Plus. It's a, a nice test that is similar to the GI map, but has a more extensive selection of parasites. And then I added in a couple markers. It was, it was missing like the candida um, and H. pylori, so that it was pretty much just as robust as the GI map with some extras as well. Uh, next one is a food panel, food sensitivity panel that you do at home with a blood stick. So you squeeze your finger and um, squeeze out some blood and it measures 96 common foods, including different um, wheat and dairy, but also things like fruits, um, so you can get more and more sensitive to foods as your gut health goes down. Um, mold exposure will usually bring your gut health down. And then you're having these immune reactions to foods, which causes more inflammation in the body. So sometimes it's good to temporarily take out foods or just see what you're reacting to. Um, this next test is similar, but a little more detailed and it's a blood draw instead of a stick you do at home. The stick at home is convenient, but it can be tough to get the blood out, so you really have to follow the instructions carefully. Next one uh, I think is a super cool test. It's called Array 14 My Cyrex Labs, and it includes some markers about wheat and other common allergen foods, but also markers, um, uh, I think it has some antibodies to like the brain and nervous system. And then also, um, sorry, I blanked <laughs> there. Um, 
it has, yeah, it has some gut, oh, gut inflammation and permeability markers too. So it's a really interesting catch-all test if you've got some like neurological issues, gut issues, body inflammation. It's a pretty interesting test. And then the last one in this section is called the Wheat Zoomer. And it's just a very in-depth test about what how you're reacting to the many different proteins and compounds in wheat and what it may be causing you, whether it's intestinal permeability or um, celiac is also included. Next section is small, it's on hormones. The first one is a, a blood labs bundle, similar to our old blood labs bundle, it's called thyroid plus full thyroid panel with Hashimoto's antibodies, uh, but it also has vitamin D, red blood cells, white blood cells. Um, I added in an inflammatory marker here. Um, you have some markers of blood sugar, ferritin, it's a, it's a fantastic test, to be honest, and I re would recommend that if you run it to have it interpreted with us so that um, we can go over it with you. Sometimes when we're chronically ill, we're so focused on um, the pathogens and we're not re dealing with like different depletions and horm hormone imbalances. So it's a really great test to run every now and then. The Dutch test um, is a popular test, probably our most best-selling test. It's an at-home urine test that tests sex hormones for men and women, how you're processing out those hormones, adrenal hormones, melatonin, gives you a lot of information if you're fatigued or gaining weight or low libido, can't sleep, that type of thing. Next section is on infections. Uh, we added back in a, a Epstein-Barr virus test. It measures three antibodies and also a Lyme test. I may add another Lyme test here, but um, this is just for the main um, Lyme disease and not all the co-infections. It gets pretty expensive when you add all the co-infections, uh, but I may add one of those in just so we have an option for a wider ranging test. Uh, often when you have mold illness, your immune system is so low that Epstein-Barr is expressing or Lyme is expressing, and this way you can get a sense of if that's happening for you. Okay, this last section has some really great stuff that I wasn't quite sure where to put it. So this one here is a whole blood nutrient panel. It's another one of those at-home blood, squeeze, squeeze blood onto a paper type test. Um, and it measures minerals, uh, vitamins, and antioxidants. So again, this is a really great bit of information that could be overlooked. You need all these nutrients for your liver to run effectively, for one thing. So if you find you're not detoxing well or, or what, what have you, you're not recovering well, you could be really nutrient de deficient, especially if you've been sick for a long time, you have been a, had to be a picky eater, your gut's been inflamed. So this can tell you exactly where you're deficient. Uh, I've just been learning this is, it could be a great one for kids. So you can get their nutrients up to get them to heal without throwing in lots of, you know, potentially complicating um herbs and, and stuff like that. So you're just supporting the body. Uh, the Neural Zoomer Plus is an amazing test if you're having any kind of neurological issues with, you know, twitching, memory loss. Uh, it tests a whole pile of antibodies to the brain that are involved in things like Alzheimer's or brain uh, infections that have crossed the blood-brain barrier. It tests the blood-brain barrier. So anything brain that you're worried about, even for your long-term health and prevention, this neural zoomer is great. Um, the organics is similar. It's, just, it's another organic acid test, so I might move it back up to the top, but it's a little different. It's a really nice report, so I think it's a little preferable um, to the other oat test we offer. I think it's just a little easier to read and a little bit of information that's different. Again, you can click on details. And then for just 20 bucks more, you can do this metallomobix. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Metallovix. <laughs> I'm just struggling with that. Metallomobix. Okay, I'm going to give up. Uh, test. It's uh, It has the same thing as the organics test. Plus, it has some markers of your levels of omegas and some measure, me levels of oxidative damage. So if you've listened to me, you know I love to talk about antioxidants and oxidative damage. 
Um, so I think this is a great little test to consider. And again, click on details, you can compare tests, you can email us with any questions. Um, and then if you want to sit with us on a Zoom and go over your test and create a plan, you just schedule that through a different link. You can find it in different places. Uh, it's going to look like this. And um, just so you know, this, this particular shop cannot send internationally. Also due to state law, cannot send to New York New Jersey or Rhode Island. So we may be able to get you some tests internationally if you reach out to us. Um, but you know, if you go through this shop, it's nice and easy, but there are a few uh, restrictions on that. So I hope that was helpful. Again, please feel free to reach out and we'd love to meet you in a consultation and help you get feeling better.